everyone's attention. Uh, Elliot and Emily asked me to give a brief, very brief account of the traditional components of a Jewish wedding in order for them to incorporate a few of them according to their selection and explain to the audience if this is the first time they have had any acquaintance with a Jewish wedding, what they've been missing or what they haven't been missing. Uh, the first element is the, what you see here, chuppah, is symbolic of the new home and life together they will spend in establishing a family. And as you can see, it's open to all sides. The intention was they have nothing to hide or be ashamed of and that their doors are open for hospitality all the time. <laughs> that certainly is symbolic of that structure. I understand constructed by Tim, right? And those who hold it are selected by the bride and groom as a special honor. Uh, another element which I don't believe they've incorporated is that the bride and groom traditionally are meant to fast until the ceremony is concluded, usually late in the evening, under an open sky, so that they can see the stars, indicative of the number of children that their grandparents probably want. <laughs> Another element which was partially incorporated is a marriage contract uh, signed by two witnesses, produced by the rabbi, signed by the groom, and read aloud by the groom under the chuppah, in which he promises to provide food, shelter, clothing, and marital relations. So if there's any complaint on that account, uh, it's a violation of the contract. And of course, exchanging rings, part of Christian ceremonies as well. Traditionally in Judaism, it was the groom who gave the bride a ring. In modern versions, uh, both exchange rings. The ring has to be gold without blemish and without ornamentation, no diamonds, just gold as indicative of their promises to be true to each other. Uh, finally, <laughs> there is what looks like, I don't know, a piece of uh, tin foil, yep. but it covers a glass, it's a drinking glass, and it was meant to conclude the wedding ceremony. Uh, the explanation here is a modern one about uh, symbolizing breaking down the barriers between people of different lives, cultures, and faiths. In traditional Judaism, it was also meant to recollect and remember even at the happiest time, the destruction of the temple in ancient times and the hopes to reestablish it. Uh, the conclusion after the ceremony, and Brian will explain how the rabbi invokes a number of blessings uh, to seal the ceremony, and then the groom stamps on the glass to break it, also a symbol of the destruction of the temple for traditional Jews. Because of the complaints of numerous group, uh, grooms about foot injuries, uh, <laughs> rabbis have also given their permission that instead of a thick drinking glass, you can use a fragile light bulb. <laughs> Anybody got one? <laughs> so if you fail three times, we'll get a light bulb. <laughs> okay, now I'll leave it to Brian to explain about the traditional lessons. <laughs>